Hello, David R. Becker here with Becker Art, and I'm here today to talk to you about a workshop I'm doing at Dillman's Art Workshops Retreats. And um, these are workshops that I do in northern Wisconsin, and I'm doing one this year that's a little bit different and new for me. It's June 2nd through the 7th, and it's up at Dillman's near Flac du Flambeau, and I am doing a water media workshop. This water media worker workshop um, consists of four different kinds of acrylics and also watercolors. And that's what I call water, water media because we're doing a bunch of um, water media type um, painting with these mediums. Um, one of the mediums is going to be heavy bodied acrylics. Heavy bodied acrylics are acrylics that when you are come out of a tube and they're kind of thick. And so you'll be using um, heavy bodied acrylics. You'll be using fluid acrylics. Fluid acrylics are come in bottles, and um, it's a little bit thicker. It's a little bit thinner, I should say, than the heavy bodied, and it is actually used like a watercolor. And then we have inks, the acrylic inks, and they're like basically ink. And a lot of these will the inks we will use on Yupo paper. Um, the heavy bodied and the fluid acrylics we can use on paper and on canvas and we also have um, acrylic gouache which is an acrylic but it's a, like a gouache like a watercolor gouache so we'll be using that also um, and then we'll be using watercolors but mixed in with our watercolors will be things like um, iridescent medium and we'll also be putting paint medium inside our watercolors to make them acrylics so we're gonna be using a little bit of everything and um, one thing that we also want you to see is that um, I'm going to do all different kinds of paper. So we're going to, this is one piece that was done on Yupo paper. And Yupo paper is like a plastic paper. And this was done with fluid acrylics and um, inks, uh, acrylic, acrylic inks. This next one here was done with watercolor on Yupo paper. And um, can also be done on regular paper and um, on canvas. But this one was actually done on Yupo paper along with this one. This was acrylic um, acrylic inks, though not the fluids. This was an acrylic ink. Um, the acrylic inks are very, um, very ink-like and so very watery. Um, and they work well on a transparent um, Yupo paper. This was done on black paper. This was done on black watercolor paper, a new paper, new paper that Stonehenge just put out. Um, it's the only watercolor, black watercolor paper out there. Um, there's other water, or there, there's other mixed water media papers out there, but none of them are 100% cotton and have sizing on the surface and inside the paper. So this is actually watercolor paper. And um, see that? Oh, not so well. A little plastic over, so it's a little tough to see. The same thing is a um, done on. This is an acrylic um, gouache. This is an acrylic gouache um, that is acrylic, but acts like a gouache, and I'm, I use it kind of like a watercolor and opaque watercolor. And um, if you can see that through the plastic, I'm not sure. But we'll be doing stuff like that, and that's again on a black paper. This next one also was done on black paper. Not that we're going to do them all on black paper, but we will do some on white canvas and um, and black black watercolor paper, along with white watercolor paper. This is again was watercolor with um, a mix of a little bit of the um, gouache, the acrylic gouache. So we'll give you all kinds of, and also this is the iridescent um, medium. You can actually you can see inside the eyes here of the cat that the iridescent is kind of shiny. So we'll be doing some of that. Then we will make our fluid acrylics look like watercolors. And so you'll get, be getting like two classes in one. This looks like a watercolor, but it's actually an acrylic done with the fluid acrylics. Fluid acrylics are just, feel a lot like watercolors. So we use them like watercolor on a white sheet of paper, along with this one too. So there you have it. We have um, uh, people need to sign up. Um, for this June 2nd and through 7th um, workshop up at Dillman's. You can do that and I will post that on the screen where you can go but just go to Dillman's.com and sign up for this June 2nd through the 7th. 
I'd love to see you there and I'd love to show you how to use all these mediums and um, by the way you don't have to bring anything to this workshop all these supplies these supplies will be there for you and um, they will be there for you to use and so we have brushes and palettes and the paint and the papers and canvases that's all supplied and it will be supplied by myself and with the help from Holbein Paints and from Legion Papers. So this is one of those workshops where you don't have to bring anything and um, which is basically makes the workshop almost free for you. If you think you had to go out and buy all this stuff um, and, and buy it out there, um, here it would cost you at least $500 to get all this kind of materials that we're using. So um, sign up, sign up at ASAP so we so we don't so you don't lose out. But thanks a lot for um, watching, and um, hope to see you there up at Dillman's. Thanks a lot.